when you got to protect your weekend, yet it's Alabama. <laughs> how, how, is, is, it, is that different than any other? You get, a, you get a sense and a feel that it's a little bit different. But, you know, we tried to do the same thing last week at Georgia Tech, heading into Kentucky, and we, we probably every week that we play. But uh, there's always an added sense when you're – Auburn and Alabama plays, I think, in any sport you can imagine. So um, I'm all in on that. And uh, I, I think a lot of our players will be a lot of first time for our guys. You know, half of our roster will be the first time to ever be part of this event. And really, the game that we play there in Montgomery is probably one of the closest thing to a football environment for a baseball game and one of the neatest things um, for, for the promotion of baseball in our state, in my opinion, for what's out there. But uh, I, I just want us to keep sharpening our axe for our players and our team. So um, I want to go and have success every time. It is a heightened awareness, and um, it seems like a lot more people care when it's Auburn and Alabama. But as a leader of this ball club, I want us to, to make sure we're continuing to sharpen our axe and trying to win every single pitch of tomorrow night's ball game just like any other. But how do you handle Brad being in the other dugout? <coughs> Not only tomorrow night, but... I mean, there's a lot of fans that would like for you to have a healthy dislike for Brad, and that's just not going to happen. Um, but how do you handle two guys that just aren't going to negatively recruit each other, just aren't going to do that type of stuff? Is it harder to coach against your friends, or is it easier? It's. Uh, I, I think once we understand that we're here for these players and for these student athletes, once the first pitch is thrown, I think it's pretty easy uh, to to move on because – you're challenged with this all the time. You know, now that you're almost – I've almost been in the, this conference for two decades. I just played a three-game series in, 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 in Antarctica against somebody that I was in the same dugout for seven and a half years and basically lived with, just like Brad, just like John Cohen before he was AD, um, just like Tim Corbin for knowing more than a decade, and Kevin O'Sullivan. Every one of these guys we've known forever. And, it's good to catch up on family and everything. We're living the same lives, and we're doing everything we can to to pr produce the best program we can in the best league in America. And uh, it's good to catch up with everybody, but we know what, what our job and our purpose is. And, um, you know, I, I appreciate Brad like crazy, and a lot of these players do. A lot of these players that will compete against and try to beat him tomorrow night in his ball club, they have a great amount of appreciation for – him helping them get to Auburn University. So, yeah, that relationship won't change. My, my relationship with anybody that's been built over time, it'll never be affected by a ball game. But uh, I know what it means to our fans. I know what it means to us and our success in this series. I'll remind our players of every bit of that and who we represent and want to represent. We want to play well. Um, so I, I think it's just less about the coaches, more about the players, and it's our job to get our teams ready to compete in one of the best rivalries in college, period. How do you, uh, how do you handle pitching uh, tomorrow night? Uh, well, Jack will start, so we get the first one figured out. And then, uh, you know, uh, we'll just go from there. I, the intentions yesterday in, in a ball game was to try to just get somebody to, to get going, take this thing out of their swing and just where we could settle the game. We never really found it, so we just kept looking through. Coach Smith just kept going through guys trying to find that. Um, but at the end of the day, nobody really threw a large amount, uh, an inning at a time, it seemed like. Um, so all those guys were available. They're available in short stints. But uh, I think by us not being able to grab a guy yesterday that could go two or three innings, you're always looking to try to feed the positive side of it that you pretty much have a – you know, a bullpen available to you of what, what you have now, you know, missing a couple of guys. But all the guys that went to Lexington this weekend should be available, even if it's short work.